Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. And I'm here today with a special gaming focused video. And I'm talking none other than the Black Shark 2 versus the Vivo IQ. Now, of all the phones I've tested this year, these phones bring something very unique to the table. And I must say, it's been really refreshing checking out these two gaming phones on Frankie Tech. I think one of the nice things about these phones is that they are unapologetically just beasts. They want to only do awesome gaming experiences and they don't care too much about the other stuff, but I think there's a lot to like in both of these Snapdragon 855 phones from Black Shark, which is a subsidiary of Xiaomi, and the Vivo IQ, which is also, uh, I think, a really awesome phone in its own right. But now we get into the section that I'd like to call Frankie Tech's Gaming Showdown. And we're gonna go through four games here on these Black Shark, on the Black Shark 2 and Bebo IQ. Fortnite, Shadow Fight 3, PUBG Mobile, and finish up with Asphalt 9. I'm gonna be looking at the gameplay and the experience on each one, and then I'm gonna give my final verdict at the end, which is the ultimate gaming phone for your needs. So let's have a look. All right, so here we are with a gaming comparison. And contrary to what I previously said, I have chosen a slightly different order here of the games that we'll be doing. So we'll start with Shadow Fight 3, go into Asphalt 9, then go into Fortnite and wrap up with some PUBG. So I will be launching the games now simultaneously on the devices and we'll see which of these phones gets in first. And then I'll be sharing just my insights on experience, what it's like playing on each of the phones, how hard are they getting. This is not a scientific test here, but I just want to share the experience of gaming on these two awesome phones and give you my take at the end, which one I think did the best in each specific game and then overall. So let's get started with this game in comparison. And as you can see, there are no recent apps in memory. Let's click the first game, Shadow Fight 3 and 3. Two, one. There they go. Looks like the Vivo IQ jumped in on the screen there first. Almost identical there, guys. That is awesome. And so now let's start with the Black Shark 2 Shadow Fight 3. And here we go. Fights. And I just logged in to Shadow Fight 3 here on the Black Shark 2. I have played quite a bit extensively on other phones, but so far, let's see how we do here. Oh man, gonna hold that to get the stronger punch in. Round two, baby. Take that. Oh yeah. And I really do enjoy playing this game. That is it, I made short order of Dynastian girl <laughs> and Rex moves on. Oh, yeah, as you see there 59 frames per second So this game is running really well here battery temperatures hasn't hasn't gone even past 30 degrees and 1.78 gigahertz So really good gaming here on the black shark 2 doesn't even feel warm at all and Here we are on the Vivo IQ The Vivo IQ gets loud, but you definitely get muffled you see there if you hold and once again, let's use the shadow ability. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this game is not taxing these phones whatsoever. Round two. Let's do a little kicking action this time. Uh, kicking's not really working too well, so time to get back to sword fighting here. Oh, I'm Mr. Oh, yeah. Let's do one last shot. Boom! Oh, that was a beautiful way to end that game. Didn't even break a sweat. The Vivo IQ is completely cool to the touch. And like you see there, though, the Black Shark 2, this edge is not being utilized, which is a pity because this phone does have a screen all the way to the end. So that is a pity that it's not utilizing the full screen here when it doesn't have as big bezels as the Black Shark 2. 
So in terms of Shadow Fight 3, that was almost neck and neck there. I could I can really not pick a winner. The only slight advantage I would give would probably be to the Black Shark 2. I mean, the fact that the gameplay was just so cool to the touch. The, t the battery did not even go past 30 degrees. But most importantly, I think it's a missed opportunity here that the Vivo IQ is not utilizing full screen when it does have that capability. But... Honestly, that was a tied round. Let's go into Asphalt 9 and see how they do. And so here we go with Asphalt 9 launching the game in 3, 2, 1. Both phones go in. Black Shark 2 ahead just by a little bit. And there you saw it. The Black Shark 2 got in just by a hair. Just a little bit ahead here. Now let's go press play on these. Now I've definitely played a little bit more on the Vivo IQ. You remember that epic drain test. So let's start once again with a Black Shark 2 Asphalt 9. Let's go. And so this is all sound coming from the Black Shark 2. I like the dual speakers on this phone. And one thing I wanted to point out, different from my previous video, I hadn't noticed it before. There are the speaker grills on this phone and it does have pixel style front facing speakers and so the audio experience playing is a lot more immersive than I think even on the Vivo IQ. Oh yeah! You saw it there, 30 frames per second. Now the temperature did go up past 30, now at 30 degrees and 1.78 gigahertz but still didn't sweat a, a moment there. The Black Shark 2 just crushed Asphalt 9. And here we go on the Vivo IQ. Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> and you see there how easy it is to cup the sound on this phone. Not the best, but I will say this phone gets loud, really loud. Let's lower the volume a little bit here. No frame drops to speak of here. And this is the slightly longer race. And this is really good. I'm loving that this is playing edge to edge here. I'd say minus the slightly annoying muffled sound. This is a spectacular gaming experience on the Vivo IQ. Oh yeah. Take that. Let's see if I can get first place. Pass that dude. Come on, come on. And I'm not sure what it just said there. I've switched to data network. That was kind of weird. Oh, yeah. And there we go. Gaming on the Vivo IQ and the fact that it took full advantage of that. That full screen display there for this game. That made it so much more enjoyable. It crushed it as well. And so if I had to pick a winner there just because the Vivo IQ was able to get that full screen going, I think that just makes this game a much more immersive experience. Now I will give the extra points here to the Black Shark 2 for that really immersive sound on those dual speakers, but just because I love that immersive experience in gameplay, I give the edge here to the Vivo IQ. So here we go, Fortnite on the Black Shark 2 versus Vivo IQ in 3, 2, 1. And that was a good press there. Both phones went in. Looks like the Vivo IQ is jumping in first. And so apologies for that, guys. It looks like the Black Shark 2 did crash earlier. I had to reinstall the game, but I'm ready to go here. I'm going to play on both of these phones at the same time, or else this will take forever. So let's line them up and get started in 3, 2, 1. Play. Matchmaking here. Taking a little bit longer than I expected. And the Black Shark 2 match made first, followed by the Vivo IQ. And you see those kind of permissions that show up? That's the kind of annoying thing that happens on the Vivo IQ and Fun Touch OS that I just find incredibly annoying. So don't plan to play for too long here, but I will do one phone at a time as I'm doing it. We're in the bus, moving around here. Everything looks great. Don't worry about notches on this phone because you don't 
Uh, you don't have any notches. It's all very equal sized bezels. And I think for some of you out there, that is a really good thing to see. So as we're flying down on the Black Shark 2, let's see how things are going on the Vivo IQ. And I'm in the kind of snowy part of the world here, flying down really quick. And we are down. Not sure what happened there. That was kind of a glitch. <laughs> I don't think you can fly so close to the ground. So we're on the Vivo IQ here. And just to quickly show you the graphics settings, I have them list, I have them at Epic right now. Looks like I can only go to 30 frames per second here on this. So once again, I had some issues from the last time I was filming this. Had some important calls that came in and I had to restart the game. But here we are playing on the Black Shark 2. And the phone is definitely getting a little warmer now. Look at the the stats here. I'm trying to... There you go. 33 degrees Celsius and 30 frames per second. Now we're going to go 100% resolution here. And now the Black Shark 2 is getting warm on this side here. That metal back... Maybe a slight issue there if you're trying to keep cool. Let's try to find some guns. Oh, and they got me. Just shot dead there. Respawning again. Why knock on a door? We can just tear it down. <laughs> I love how everything in this game is just capable of being destroyed. And I finally got me some guns. So let's bring this bad boy out and see if we can shoot some people here. And here we are back on the Vivo IQ. And that previous game, just I just got slaughtered right at the beginning. And there were some network connections there too. Looks like I'm dead on the Black Shark too. And I will say it is harder, much harder to get kills in this game and show them. As much as I love Fortnite playing it, I don't know that it's the most appropriate game to play when reviewing phones just for that reason alone because I mean <laughs> you just get killed so often and what is going on there again that weird glitch so the Vivo IQ is having some slightly weird issues here with the game I've noticed that it's not as smooth on the frame rates or anything and just screwy stuff like that so trying to find some weapons here and that's how you win a game without doing anything at all. <laughs> it looks like my team got the victory here. So good job, team. I always feel better playing the Team Rumble version when I'm playing on the reviews because that way I'm not going to screw over my team too much if I can't play or if I'm not focused. But gameplay on the Black Shark 2 in just overall Fortnite, I think, is better. Although the phone does get hot, it's now up there 35 degrees Celsius versus on the Vivo IQ, which just doesn't do as good a job and has some really annoying glitches there. So, hands down, Fortnite, a pure victory here for the Black Shark 2. And last but not least, we're going to play some PUBG Mobile, probably one of the most extensive games that I've played here on the channel. And we're going to do it here on these two gaming beasts, starting in 3, 2, 1. And there they go. Let's see which phone gets in past this screen first. The Vivo IQ is getting in there. Can the Black Shark 2 catch up? And can I just say one thing? There's so many updates to PUBG Mobile all the time that it does make for an annoying experience when you have to wait for the game to download again. Just a little nitpick there to PUBG. I know they're always launching updates and they're always doing making the game better, but it does become an annoyance sometimes. Level 21, oh yeah. So here we are, ready to play. So we'll get started, but before we do that, I will show you what are the stats? What are the graphics that each phone is using? Now, because you guys mentioned earlier, I think someone in the comments mentioned that HD setting, that HD setting would allow me to play 60 frames per second. Let's see if that's the case. So you see here, I have enabled anti-aliasing on both phones, but I have disabled auto adjust graphics. And right off the bat, I can tell you that I'm liking the Black Shark 2's 
interface, nothing is cut off, and that is the beauty of not having any notches or anything like that to speak of. Meanwhile, the Vivo IQ is using all the way up to the rounded corners of the edge there, but unfortunately on this side, it is not. So, but let's get started in three, two, one. The Vivo IQ jumped in first, but not by much. So let's do it. You know what we're gonna do now? <laughs> The classic Frankie Tech swim test. Just keep swimming. <laughs> what game review would have been complete on my channel without that? So looking at the plane here, both look really great. No stutters whatsoever. And we see the black sharks at the bottom here. The Vivo IQ is at the top. Let's unfollow this guy and jump. There they go. And so I'll start with gameplay on the Black Shark 2 once we hit the ground. So believe it or not, guys, I was just absolutely destroyed on the Black Shark 2. So I'm starting a new game there, but for now, I'm here on the Vivo IQ. And let's see if I fare a little better here on this device. But I finally found some guns here on the Vivo IQ. And this playing this game very nicely although I will say that the lack of screen oh that's my buddy sorry <laughs> sorry about that so while I'm running around here on the Vivo IQ I'm back on the Black Shark suffered some serious quick death in the previous game it's getting a little hot here and we can see it's 40 frames per second. So to the dude in the comments who said you needed to play on HD to play past, to play 60 frames per second, you don't know what you were talking about, bro. 40 frames per second, that's exactly the same graphics frames per second that I got playing HDR. So just so you know, guys, that is not going to be an issue. You can play maximum settings there or HDR if you like. And I am playing right now in HDR. Let's switch it to HDR and get this game started on the Black Shark 2. So running, got some guns. I see someone in the distance there. Oh yeah. Take that. Oh, horse face. And you are done. Awesome. So glad I finally got a kill here. So glad, so glad indeed. And I hear a vacuum in the background, but let's not worry about that. Now back on the Viva IQ. Let's see if we can find anyone here. I'm getting killed on the Black Shark. Better get back to it. Oh man, I'm getting killed on both now. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Turn around. Take that. Yes. Now back on this phone. And I'll tell you what, guys, it's really hard when you play this game through a screen. Oh, boy. There you go. Back on it. Whoa. I may have toggled something else there, and I just got knocked down. That's the danger of playing this game on two different phones at the same time. It looks like I'm not going to survive on the Vivo IQ. Let's lower that volume. Damn, it gets loud. And so there you go, 35 degrees, 40 frames per second, and 2.41 gigahertz. I have officially died on the Vivo IQ, and the Black Shark 2 remains. So I think just from... Oh, boy. Let's get one more kill here. Oh, no. That was me. That was me. Boom. Dead. <laughs> I'm glad to see there were finally some players in there that took me out of my misery because that was probably one of the worst showings of PUBG that I've had in a while. But that is it for this PUBG section and I give the edge to the Black Shark 2. I think just the overall gameplay experience is not hampered and I think in terms of performance, it did a great job here. It loaded in and out of games, although it did crash in the beginning, but it did a great job nonetheless.
So that's it for this video and my final verdict, at least in the gaming category of these phones. They were tied in Shadow Fight 3, but then the Vivo IQ struck back with a win in Asphalt 9. But then the Black Shark 2 took one victory and tied it all up again with that Fortnite win. And last but not least, in PUBG Mobile, I gave the edge to the Black Shark 2. I think both phones can play it well, but that shark space really makes a difference and the fact that it was able to play that game smoothly and easily with only the slight nitpick there being that it gets a little bit warmer because of the metal back but i think if you had to pick just based on gameplay alone one winner here i give it to the black shark 2. it's just a less glitchy just more kind of immersive because of the audio and more balanced experience. You're not going to run into any of those notch issues or kind of rounded corner issues on PUBG Mobile. And I think just overall, the game doesn't have interface within it like those annoying pop-ups that kept showing up on Fun Touch OS to kind of hamper the gaming experience. So that is why for those reasons and more, I give the gaming victory here to the Black Shark 2. So that's it for this video and my final verdict on these awesome gaming phones, the Black Shark 2 and the Vivo IQ. I think these bring a lot to the table and I think the Vivo IQ has definitely has some great points to it in terms of like charging, in terms of battery life, and I do like the design of the Vivo IQ a little bit more. It feels just a bit closer to like a normal phone, whereas the Black Shark 2 is unapologetically a gaming phone beast it's just a gaming phone and it's not trying to look you know pretty it is just sharp black edges and it just it screams just gaming to you and now while these phones bring a lot to the table in terms of hardware what is the one thing that makes my final decision here clear and it's all about the software. Software is a big part, as you guys know, of my experience with phones. And I, like I always like to say, uh, hardware is what makes you fall in love with a phone, but software is what makes you keep loving a phone. And what it boils down to here is that the software experience on the Vivo IQ is just so lackluster next to the one on the Black Shark 2. I just think this software is so catered to gamers from just the look of the UI. You have Game Lab, you have anti-addiction, you have just a really cool interface and especially that shark space which is enabled by that slider there that puts you into the gaming experience right here. So there's no denying that Fun Touch OS really ruins the experience of this phone and even though it has improved slightly from the previous versions, like I said before, the settings are a mess. I don't like the shortcut center on Fun Touch OS and the whole UI is not as catered to gaming as as much as the Black Shark 2. Uh, when you press the monster buttons right here, that'll bring you into the gaming space of this phone. But the other issue I have is that all the games, they are all actually installed, or I guess you access them through the Vivo App Store. And the Vivo App Store is all in Chinese, and it is just a mess. Like, I don't like the interface at all. I like the fact that on the Black Shark 2, you download games from any location and you actually can get them here appearing on your shark space navigation here. So it's a, a nice way to be able to sideload games. You see I got Fortnite here and you can actually enable that shark space to actually work with the games you download. So just that alone makes this Black Shark 2 a much more kind of flexible option of a gaming phone. And it is my pick as your ultimate gaming champion between these two. But hit me up in the comments, which of these phones do you like best? So if you like this video, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. A lot of new content and a lot of new styles coming here on the channel. Let me know if you like this face-to-face -face format better. I think I want to start doing more of this because I want to get myself out in the open here, share my thoughts face-to-face -face with my audience, you guys. And to all my OGs, you know who you are. I love you guys, and thanks for all your support. Bring in Frankie Tech into this 55,000 subscriber mark. I really do appreciate it. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. This is where I leave you by saying... This is Frankie Tech, signing off. Y'all have a good one.